My name is Chase Slaughter. I'm a lifelong Republican and a lifelong resident of the state of Indiana. Um, just like being a Hoosier for multiple generations, I am also a Republican for multiple generations. I suppose that the first time that I actively thought about politics, the first time that I decided I was a Republican was in the late 1990s when I was still in middle school and the Lewinsky affair became public. And I remember thinking how crass and unpresidential and crude Bill Clinton was for having an extramarital affair. I kind of wish we could go back to those days. I uh, went to college and studied political science and history. I first became active in Republican politics in 2004. I was active in the Mitch Daniels campaign for governor that year. If I were to point to my um, political heroes, it would be people like Mitch Daniels and uh, Richard Luger from Indiana. It would be people like Mitt Romney and John McCain. Um, I served as a Republican precinct committeeman beginning in 2005 while I was still in college, and I continued to serve as a Republican precinct committeeman until this year when I resigned my seat because I said I could not in good conscience have my name associated with Donald Trump. After college, I worked for the Republican Party for three years before joining my family's business. Um, even after that time, I continued to be a Republican donor and a Republican fundraiser and a Republican campaign volunteer and a delegate and a precinct committeeman and all those things. Uh, the first president that I voted for was George W. Bush. I voted for John McCain. I voted for Mitt Romney. But by the nomination of Donald Trump, I realized that the Republican Party that I so loved, the party of civility and decorum and leadership, was dead. I don't think that I ever left the Republican Party. I think the Republican Party left me. Because the Republican Party today, as I see it, is the party of hypocrisy. They are people who called for Bill Clinton's impeachment a generation ago, and rightly so. But when Donald Trump does the same thing or worse, they say he's changed, or they call it locker room talk or whatever. They are people who... Uh, hatefully condemn monogamous same-sex marriages, but uh, blindly worship a thrice-married adulterer. They are people who scream that they are pro-life, but don't care about uh, immigrant children at the border. They don't care about poor children. They don't care about minority children. They are uh, a people who voted in Republicans three decades ago for fear of the deficit, and now that the deficit has grown by trillions of dollars under Donald Trump, they don't care. Um, that's what really gets me, is the hypocrisy of the Republican Party. Donald Trump has always been a con man. He's always been a racist, a chauvinist, a misogynist, a xenophobe, a homophobe. But now the Republican Party, the party that I have so loved, and joined because they were the party of civility and decorum and leadership has allowed this con man to take over our party and our country. I don't think that history will look kindly upon Donald Trump, but I think it will look less kindly on the people that stood idly by and let him get away with it. And I am specifically talking to my fellow Hoosier Mike Pence. The only way to return our party and our country to civility, to decorum, to leadership, to the party and country of morals and ethical fortitude is to vote for Joe Biden. A vote for Joe Biden is the most patriotic thing that an American or a Republican can do in 2020.